more fun games than movies. This is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Subscriptions are a huge boost. Hello, my name is Kuba Stokalski. I'm the game co-director and design director for Frostpunk 2. And I'm Łukasz Juszczyk, game's co-director as well as art director. It's a very special day for us because today we want to invite you to take a first deep dive into gameplay of Frostpunk 2. And we are really excited to see your reactions. At Levin Bit Studios, we don't really believe in making just a sequel. It never satisfied us creatively, and we don't really believe it would satisfy you. So we always wanted to build on top of the foundations that was Frostpunk 1 and create something new, something exciting. The big question was how to do that. By the end of the first game, you survived the end of the world. The question then becomes, what now? We felt that creating an even bigger blizzard or making you survive even lower temperatures would not make the cut. It wouldn't be satisfying for you and it wouldn't be satisfying for us. It felt impossible to tell an epic story about society's growing ambitions without changing the scale of the game itself. In Frostpunk 2, time passes in weeks, months. And instead of building singular buildings, we oversee creation of entire city districts. During the development of previous Frostpunk, we invented the genre called Society Survival Game. In Frostpunk 2, we continue to evolve in that direction, but with putting much greater emphasis on society aspect. An automaton has broken down and is blocking traffic. It's been 30 years since the Great Storm, and the unifying factor of cold and incoming apocalypse is really gone. We survived. The big question becomes, what now? The city grows, and with it, the ambitions of people that's created. This can lead to internal conflicts, and the unity that was previously there, thanks to everyone needing to work together to survive, is gone. The society starts to fracture and diverge. As time passes, various communities like this may radicalize and form factions that actively try to influence the direction in which you lead the city. Until this point, the cities were led by the captain, an absolute ruler whose firm hand was needed to keep everyone together in the face of survival challenges. But that is long gone. Now people want to have a say in how the city is run. You are the steward, and as the leader of the city, you are expected to construct a council, a place where every community of the city can have a vote in what laws govern it. The enduring conflicts between the factions set the tone of the game. Those clashes don't have to be physical, but they for sure will be ideological. And each faction has their own vision for the future. And your role as a steward will be to maneuver between those ideas. And it will require a lot of political stamina from the player to shape the city as he wants. Now, make no mistake, the world is still frozen solid and cold as hell. So we'll have to do a lot of good management to ensure that survival of the city is assured. But soon you will find out that the external enemy of cold and, and storms and blizzards is not the biggest threat to the city. Internal enemy is. The factions will start tugging the city into a vision of a utopia that you will quickly discover to be a dystopia for everyone else. And thus, you will quickly find out that nature isn't the biggest enemy. Human nature is. So thank you for diving with us into the world of Frostpunk 2. We really hope you like what you saw. If you're interested and you would like to check it out for yourself, you actually can. As part of Frostpunk 2 Deluxe Edition pre-orders, there is a beta taking seven days happening in April, which you can be a part of if you want to. Thank you and see you around.